Bad blood between Attorney General Eric Holder and the Republican-controlled House Judiciary Committee, which was instrumental in the successful push to get Holder cited for contempt of Congress. Do you swear that the testimony that you're about to give is the truth? Holder went on offense early, pointing out that the chairman of the Republican National Committee had asked for him to step down over sweeping subpoenas in a leak investigation involving the Associated Press, even though Holder had actually taken himself off the case because he'd been interviewed about the leak. Why uh, was such a broad scope approved? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of criticism. In fact, the head of the RNC called for my resignation um, in spite of the fact that I was not the person who was involved in that decision. Anger spilled over when Congressman Darrell Issa of California pointed out that United States Attorney for the District of Columbia, Ronald Machen, one of the officials put in charge of investigating the leak to the AP, was the same administration appointee who refused to prosecute Holder in court after Congress held him in contempt less than a year ago. Can he be considered to be uh, independent when, in fact, when this Congress held you in contempt, he was the individual who refused on your orders to prosecute the case. I did not order Mr. Machen not to do anything with regard to, I won't characterize it, the contempt finding um, from this Congress. He made and Holder did not back down when ISA asked him about disputed emails in an investigation of the president's nominee to run the Labor Department. Yes, you didn't want us to see the details. The no, two I'm not going to stop talking now. Uh, yeah, you Mr. characterize something as something uh, goes to Mr. The Chairman, of would you inform the witness the as to the rules of that this is committee? Appropriate and is too consistent with the way in which you conduct yourself as a member of Congress. It's unacceptable and it's shameful. Meanwhile, on the issue of the Internal Revenue Service targeting conservative groups, Holder promised a nationwide investigation and suggested potential violations of law now under federal investigation could include criminal civil rights infractions, even lying. There's also the possibility of thousand and one, uh, uh, false statements, violations that might have been made um, given, right. uh, well, I don't, given at least what I know at this point.